Hello everyone. I have another island living build for you because apparently I am ready for some sort of tropical vacation. That's all I can figure. No, this wasn't like a planned thing. I just decided that an island bar would be fun. I believe somebody posted a picture on social media of themselves at well, some sort of island bar. They were on vacation and I went, I need to build one in The Sims. So I did. I did slow this speed build down more than I normally do because it is a very small build. It is a short build, even though I slowed it down. But I like it. I think it'll be helpful for anybody who has island living and is looking for more of a destination spot for their sims. And I don't know. I just like it. So originally I had planned on this bar area being like a round hut. And because it's the sims and round walls stink, it didn't happen. So it's square. And... You know, I, I changed it a little bit, not a whole lot, just because I didn't like the uh, the walls being down below. So I had to change what I wanted to do a little bit. But it still turned out with the look that I wanted since I couldn't have my round bar. So what I did with this lot is it's it's a bar lot, but it's also a beach. It has all the beach things on the beach. And really, I am excited to play in it. I didn't play test this one as of recording yet. I don't think it needs to be play tested, but I will before uploading it because I do that with everything, even if I don't think it needs to be play tested. Now, that being said, I know The Sims will walk through that door and bother the bartender. That's just the Sims. That's not something in my build, okay? It happens every time. I put a door in there, hoping that it would keep the Sims out. But since you can't lock the bartender in, at least I haven't. Well, I don't know if I've actually tried. At least not on a bar lot. Like, when I have run the bar myself through a mod, then I've locked the door, and that's worked. Do you want to get it? I don't think I've actually tried to lock the door in a community bar space. All right, so you can see here, I'm just kind of decorating the bar area a little bit, uh, getting the island music, because we have to have that, and figuring out how I want this to look. And I decided that I really wanted lots of color, in the furnishings and a little bit in the wall paper too there's not a lot of walls here so you know there's there's just pops of color here and there and i really really like it it gives that island vibe to me i also wanted just kind of a bar area that your sims could go sit at if they will uh -oh. and i I wish this was real. It looks just nice and fun. Fun place to be. But, yeah. So, the other thing with this that I realized is I wanted that bar like that, but I really didn't like the black underneath. But you can see I moved on from it ten a few things. And eventually I go back and change that a little bit I, I like how it looks when it's done the other thing is yeah I decided to extend this area out so that I could put in some more tables a nice little like seating area things like that just to create more of a gathering space but you can see like I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do out here and then I remembered that, oh yeah, you have to have a TV and a bar. And I didn't, I didn't really want to put it in, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? If it's got to be there, I'm going to make it big. 
I'm gonna make it there and it'll still work. So we that's why the sofas back to back. You have the I wanna watch the sports game people and you have the people that are I want the ocean view. Now I thought about putting a wall up there so that you know it'd be blocked a little bit. I didn't. Um, I put a wall here instead. And I like I like how this turned out because it right now it just still looks so brown. <laughs> I'm like it still needs more color. So I played around a little bit. Thought maybe lightening it up to the white would work, but then I put this blue on there and that was it. I, I love that contrast of the orange and the blue. And added the blue kind of, you know, background for or wall coloring for the bar area and it worked. So here you can see I'm kind of adding in some floaties. The bar area is, you know, almost done. And I'm adding in these ladders, but those don't stay in the final upload. They're here until the end of the video. But when I play tested this, I realized that the Sims were just using these two ladders. And I really didn't need to have four ladders on this lot. So I took out these two that are in the bar area and put the boat ladders in instead. So, and that worked beautifully. Like, it was great. I will warn you, if you're playing this, your bartenders may swim out and use the ladders instead of the stairway <laughs> that I, I made. But, you know, I thought about just making it a floating bar out in the middle of nowhere, but I decided not to. I might do that in another build, but not this one. Because I think that's fun. I think having these bar beaches is cool because I don't... I'll have to look, but I don't think the beaches really have anything special about them. I'm not sure, though. I'll have to look that up because I've never really, you know, thought about doing anything else with a beach. But, yeah, I think... I don't think they have anything real special. I will say my restaurant that I built, my island restaurant that I built, I noticed people like to go swimming. I actually put ladders out on the back deck so they can, you know, go in and out to their heart's content. I also use Carl's Dine Out Mod for that and I love it. It is on the gallery, if you guys are interested in that. There's two versions. There's one that is designed for the Dine Out mod, and one that's just designed to work with, you know, Dine Out. So, yeah. So here, i just trying to figure out stuff that would be fun at a beach. And then, of course, you know, just creating some other little things. Put this little snack vending machine in so that your Sims didn't have to walk all the way to the bar area. Uh -huh. but I just wanted to decorate it and one thing I like with this lot is that you have those two little lounge chairs sitting there to be honest for the build I'm doing for my legacy game that I'm going to do just on my own this one's in on my own one I will probably use the tool mod to throw some more stuff out that way because uh, I'm going to put this beach in that world. I am debating because what I'm going to do is save it. It's going to kind of be my, when I want to play myself world. Because I like to play myself sometimes. A lot, actually. So I'm actually growing myself up as a sim and that's that's kind of going to be the base like this is going to be the game that i copy you know every time i want to play myself so i already have family that type of thing unless i don't want to but then i can just you know i have my own sim self that i can you know throw into a game to play play around with new packs or whatever but i'm debating with that world of actually 
saving it and uploading it eventually. I will be taking my Sims family out of it just for privacy reasons, because I do actually have like real people's names and stuff in there. But I might do that. So if that's something you guys would like me to do once I'm done, I mean, this, this is going to be a few months from now. It's not anytime real soon. Let me know. Let me know in the comments and I'll think about doing that. Um, I am planning on redoing at least the base game worlds. That'll be coming up soon. I think I'm going to do a world with where I do towny refresh, like home refreshes. And then I'll do the just empty base game home refreshes and stuff. And it'll all be one file. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. So look for that series. I think I'm going to do the townies first. And then I'll do like the empty houses and the community lots. All that stuff. So... I might throw in a couple that I've already done just because I've already done them. But yeah, look for that coming soon since uh, the throwback builds are done. You can tell because this is a Tuesday and it's not a throwback build. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to work on next. Uh, I'm going to start with some smaller builds and go from there. They... This, the Townie Refresh ones will probably post on Tuesdays, but we'll see. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can do everything I want to do and not go crazy. So bear with me while I figure all that out. So anyway, I will say I love the bar in this beach, but that little food area is so cute. I really love it. All right, so here I just kind of figured out the beach, you know, things, and we are done with this build. So here's view number one, and I am going to let you guys check out the other views. Be right back. short pictures for this small build but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this one a little slowed down just to make it you know a little longer but I think it's nice to see all the detail all right I will see you in the next build bye now